Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel today. Yesterday when I was doing the uh, clip on the uh, fitting of the Motone bar riser, I was just looking at the right side engine case and I noticed it looked a bit on the grubby side and I suppose it should be when you look at the fact that I haven't cleaned the side casing ever since I um, purchased the bike six months ago. So, yeah, so that's it up reasonably close and uh, you can see it's got quite a few scuff marks now on it so what I think I might do is head off over to the auto parts store I buy a tube of auto sole metal polish so uh, back to you shortly just arrived back from the auto parts shop and picked up a 75 mil tube of auto sole metal polish so uh, that's sitting in front of you plus a microfiber cloth I've got a couple of those in the packet. So the metal polish itself costs $10 for this tube. If we have a look at the polish now, when you squeeze her out, feels a little bit on the gritty side, so it wouldn't be an aggressive cut, more just like a polish. Now I suppose while we're on the uh, business of uh, talking about metal polishing and polishing motorcycles do i really like polishing motorcycles well actually no i'd be or you'd probably see me by now polishing them on a more regular basis so uh, by my way i'd rather pay someone else to polish it and i'd just ride it but seeing there's no one around at the moment it looks like i'm going to polish the case and uh, i'm not one of those ones that uh, like i mentioned earlier like they get there and spend six hours polishing the case and say to you I get a lot of satisfaction doing it because in actual fact I'll probably get no satisfaction doing it and all I do is want to um, get the job out of the way as quick as possible and I'd like to hopefully think that this job could be over the matter of 15 minutes and it looks a lot better than what it was when I started and uh, you know I'm sure there's a lot of people that look at polishing a side case they'd like to see just an improvement in 10 or 15 minutes and they don't want to be there for the long haul. Now thinking of also doing the top part of the rocker covers so we go in and take a look. I'm not planning on touching the left side but I'll polish the right side and we'll just see how that looks. We go down into the casing. I think I'll put a bit of gaffer tape halfway along it and we'll do a um, a split from the top to the bottom right where the oil window is so one side you'll see where it's polished and one side it isn't we'll just see after I give it a bit of a polish we'll see if I get me 10 bucks value out of the Autosol metal polish okay guys so I've ripped off a bit of gaffer tape so I think we'll do a divide and line about here halfway through the oil sight glass I'll polish this side with the Autosol metal polish. We'll leave this side plain and I'll pull the tape off. We'll see how it looks. There are a few slight scratches in this uh, metal casing on this particular bike. Not much I can do about that. The only way I'd probably get rid of that is use 2000 grit and give it a good uh, wet rub all over and then come back into it. But I figure I'll only probably pick up the same marks again so I'm just wasting my time. This polish can be applied either on a dry microfiber cloth or a wet one so we'll try a bit of a dry rub first a uh, circular motion and I picked this nice yellow cloth so that at least if we see if it's working we'll be able to see a bit of black residue come off onto the cloth so this would be the best one the yellow I am hoping to get a good result or some result because is that I've wasted my time. And whether I can save you some time, which is more important. So, we'll pull the cloth off. Jeez, look at the black crap that come off that. That really moves some crap off. And I've only been on it. We'll give it a hit with the cloth and see um, what happens. You know, I tell you what, that's impressive. Oh, bloody, look at that. I was only there for a minute. Look at the difference between... Yeah, the wife even told me to cut my fingernails to make sure they look better on the camera. <laughs> so 
So anyway, look at the difference between there. And I never spent bloody hours doing it. We'll keep going. But once again, look at that traffic. Can you see that? That, that really is impressive. I'll keep going. I'm using about that much. I haven't used this product for a long time, gee. 20 years, but even I wasn't expecting it to be that good. You know, you, your memory fades after a while, you forget how good things are, or, or the other thing somebody takes over the company, or the product, they, like, water them down, or do something to them, they're never as good as they used to be, but yeah, I'll tell you what, for 10 bucks, who, who would complain about this? Well, that crap is coming off it. Still at it. Gets a bit tiring. I think I've managed to put a shine on it, but a new polishing cloth. Oh yeah, I don't think I can complain about that. We'll get the camera up high and look down. Let's take a look into it. Yeah, it looks like it's got a really nice shine to me. Turn out. The hand reflection. So if you look at the hand reflection there, we'll go over the other side. You've also got the hand reflection in it there, but it's dull. This one's really sharp. You can see in that one there. And over there. Back here. I say that's 20 seconds and I give that a bit of a hit. This is better than swinging back and forth and just do it in real time. So if you look at that one, come in there. If we go over and have a look at that one, which is, hasn't been touched. And once again, if we take a look, we can see reflection there on this one here. Over on the left, not much. I think now when we look down onto the casing itself, this is where it really looks impressive. So you can see on the right hand side now, I've got a really good shine on that part there. I did find when I was doing that little bit of a rub on the casing itself, the polish seemed to remove all the black residue better with just polish on the on the cloth itself. Don't wet the cloth. Here's a different angle looking at the uh, casing. So if you look at it, the front ones are the one I've just polished and the rear section is one untouched. So if I zoom in a little bit closer. And if I remove the tape now. And that's where you'll find the real proof. So I'll swing the camera around into the front of it and come in and you'll see the uh, actual borderline between where one section was polished. Pity now that, well, the sun hasn't been really out all day, so it's really hard to get a good idea how good the polish was on this particular casing, but there's no doubt it worked quite well. I'll zoom in and we can have a look at the borderline where I ripped the tape off. So if we come into it now, it's not hard to see where the borderline was, straight up the middle between using the uh, oil sight window with the uh, left and right side. So uh, I think overall this has worked out pretty well. So I'll get there now and continue to polish and polish the whole side of the casing. And I think overall for somebody that just wants to come in and do a quick easy polish of the casing and probably wouldn't take all that long, 
I'd estimate you could probably publish that casing by hand. If you were pretty skilled and you could use a polishing machine to use the paste on, you could probably do it pretty quick, but I'd say you could do it in half hour or 20 minutes if you got into it. Just depends on the condition. Like I said, mine had never been touched in six months, so uh, it's a, uh, a fair bit of a work there, but I think if you look at what was done up the top with the uh, cylinder head area, how that came up, and this little bit here, considering how bad it was to start off with, where well, you can still see the original grime on the left hand side of the bike. Uh, that looked fairly chatty when you look at it now compared to that, so I'll get into it, finish off the other side, and I'll come back and just give you a final look. So guys, I've completed the bit of polishing, or as much polishing I'm going to do on this bike. It's probably as good as I'll get it, because when I set out to do this, once in the beginning I said I was no bike polisher, so it's about as good as I can get, and I'm sure someone else can get and I'll do it and do a lot better job than I can. But uh, the only reason, or one of the main reasons, I decided to get in and clean this bike up in this area of the uh, alloy air is since I've got this new camera, it picks up very fine detail and sooner or later I'm pretty sure someone will say uh, your bike could do with a bit of a clean in that area so I thought I'd just, rather than get to that stage, get in and clean it first so I'll just come in and just a little bit closer on that area of the casing I published and I think you'll see it's come up fairly well so the way I'd look at it, for the $10 outlay for the uh, Auto Soul metal polish I think I got pretty good value for money and there's enough polish there to do this side the tops the other side so you know you don't have to go out and spend a large amount of money if you're satisfied with this way of polishing and uh, it'll do the job for somebody that just wants to go in and do a, a quick hit might even do the job for someone who's really fussy I don't know because like I said I don't go out of my way to polish bikes it's not as if it's one of my favorite pastimes but I just thought I'd give it a clean up, but when you look in detail there, down towards that, I'll swing into it down towards that uh, brake area. It's certainly got a good shine there when you see the uh, the brake pedal reflecting into the casing just above the oil window. It will come in a bit closer, like so. So I can see the uh, reflection in there quite clearly. Hopefully this camera picks it up well enough and you can too so overall yeah I think uh, the job's come up pretty good and I would uh, you know recommend that if anyone wants one or wants to try this stuff out just go to their nearest auto parts supply and pick it up and like I said it cost me ten dollars for the little tube of 75 mils and I think for the ten dollars it appears you get pretty good value for money so that's about all I can tell you about it at this stage it works it's worth buying Better than paying 30 or 40 dollars for some other polish. So once again, thanks for tuning in, taking a look, and the next thing I'll be working on will be fitting the sump guard to this bike. And if anyone's interested in subscribing to the channel, once again, please do.